Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to present more exercises of genuine and intersectional sets. So let's get started. The first exercise says, let A, B, and C be sets. So A is containing C and B is containing C if and only if A genuine B is containing C. If you want to try this exercise on your own, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, feel free to post the video at this moment. Also, if you want to share comments or write your solution, uh, feel free to do so in the comments. Also, if you want to see a certain approach for solving this exercise, uh, continue watching the video. It, it is important to notice that this exercise asks to prove uh, an equivalence, and we can always break an equivalence into implications. The first implication would be if A is containing C and B is containing C, then A union B is containing C. And the second implication is if A union B is containing C, then A is containing C and B is containing C. And it is important to remember that we can always go back and forth uh, between an equivalence and the two implications that, in which it breaks. So if we prove the two implications, we will have proven the original statement. So, okay, uh, if you want to try again this exercise starting from this point, I feel free to do so. And you can pause the video or also you can continue watching this approach to the solution. So for the first part, uh, we need to prove that A containing C and B containing C yields that A union B is going to be containing C. So suppose that A is containing C and B is containing C. At this point, it is possible to use exercises that were already solved in previous videos about union of sets. So our first exercise of union of sets would be that A union B is containing C union C, just making union over each of the sets of the containment in this, in this case. Also, another exercise on union of sets says that C union C is equal to C. And now with these two results, uh, we can just use a property of equality, replacing C union C by C on the first one, and we will have that A union B is containing C. For the second part, uh, now it is important to suppose that A union B is containing C. And again, there are exercises of union that are going to be used, that being that A is containing A union B, and also B is containing A union B. Also, by an exercise on containment and our initial supposition, uh, we have that A is going to be containing C, and also that B is going to be containing C. Uh, with these two, using conjunction and uh, logic step, we will have that A containing C and B containing C are the result. And this will be for what we want to prove for the second part and also for the entire exercise one. So this will be the end of this proof. Okay, moving on to the second exercise. It says let A, B, and C be set. And now A containing B and A containing C, if and only if A is contained in the intersection C. Uh, this is pretty much an analogous to the first one. Instead of union, this is with the intersection. Also, if you want to try this exercise on your own, uh, feel free to do so. As usual, feel free to pause the video at this moment, or also if you want to see a certain approach to solve this exercise, I continue watching the video. Again, this exercise is of an equivalence and as any equivalence, it is possible to break it into two implications, and proving those two implications proves the equivalence. So, for the first equivalence, uh, suppose that A containing B and A containing C, and so now it is going to be used an exercise on intersection of sets, that being that now A intersection A is containing B intersection C, just applying intersections side to side of the container. This was an exercise on intersection of sets. And also another exercise on intersection of sets says that A intersection A is equal to A, and now using the property of equality of 
replacement or the substitution, uh, we have that A is contained in the intersection C, which is what we need for the first part. So for the second part, now suppose that A containing the intersection C. And again, this is going to be a part where it is going to be used exercises that were done on intersection of sets. Those being that B intersection C is containing B and that B intersection C is containing C. And again, uh, by a exercise that was done on containment, it is possible to have as a consequence that A is containing B and also that A is containing C. And by the logic step of conjunction, we can just have those two results together. And that would be it for this second exercise. Okay, uh, so we get to the third exercise and now let A and B be sets. A union B is equal to the empty set if and only if A equal the empty set and B is equal to the empty set. So, okay. Uh, again, if you want to try this exercise on your own, uh, feel free to do so. Um, uh, feel free to pause the video at this moment or also if you want to watch this certain approach to the solution and continue watching the video. As in the previous cases, this is an equivalence and it can be broken into uh, two implications. And okay, for the first A implication, I suppose that A union B is equal to the empty set. And just as in the first exercise, uh, we have that the property or the exercise of union of sets gives that A is going to be contained in A union B and that B is going to be contained in B union A and also by another exercise uh, it is claimed that A union B is equal to B union B. Okay, so now at this moment we can use all of these results uh, just to get that A is going to be contained in the empty set and also that B is going to be contained in the empty set. Replacing that A union B is the empty set. And now by an exercise that was done on empty sets, uh, it is claimed that the empty set is containing A and also that the empty set is containing B. And this would already be enough to have the equality by the property of containing. A is equal to the empty set and B is equal to the empty set. This would be it for the first part of exercise three. So now for this second part, I suppose that A is equal to the empty set and B is equal to the empty set. And now just using a property of equality, uh, replacing equalities in unions, A union B is going to be equal to the empty set union the empty set. And by an exercise on union, uh, Empty set union empty set is going to be equal to the empty set. And so just by replacing again equalities, A union B is going to be equal to the empty set. And this would be it for the second part and the entire exercise. This would be the end of the video. Okay, and this would be all for this video. Let me know if you like the video. Also, you can leave me questions and comments if you want me to certain topic in which you are interested let me know thanks for watching